So I punted out a video last Friday that was nominally about the topic of software developers who have erstwhile called themselves software engineers and now just refer to themselves as engineers. And somebody on the internet said, oh, well, you know, Hillel Wayne uh, wrote a series of articles that pretty much settled this issue. And uh, just wanted to clarify, though, that that I don't have a strong opinion on people calling themselves engineers, except to, to remark that I think that it's limiting. And the reason why I think that is because uh, when you're making software, very little of what you're doing resembles engineering in any other sense. And again, I think that's actually fine. And so when I say that, that the use of the word or the job title, just calling yourself an, an engineer is, is limiting, what I mean uh, is that it sort of narrows your, your field of, of view, I think, more than the problem space deserves. And so I'm going to sort of elucidate uh, what I mean about that. So imagine you have a car. I don't have a car, but I was driving one around on the weekend. And you're just doing errands or whatever. And you're going around from A to B, and you're not really worried about the amount of gas in the tank or electric, if you like. This one was gas. Because the distance between A and B is less than the, than the tank. And now imagine that you want to go on a road trip, and the distance between A and B is more than the amount of gas that you can fit in your tank. Now you have to think about, uh, you know, you're, you're gonna have to spend some time before you leave thinking about like, okay, like we're gonna have to make it so that we get to a gas station, you know, a prime to, uh, before we get to, before we run out of gas. And so that's what I would argue was sort of the essence of, of what engineering is. Engineering has to deal with just sort of cold, hard facts about the universe. Uh, it has to deal with non-negotiable constraints. And so the contrast is when you now sort of consider the direction that you go, because you might want to go to C instead of B you know, or D instead of C or B, etc. When there are choices in the direction that you go, that is another sort of layer where you're, you're still at the starting line and, and you're trying to figure out where to go and then you've got to figure out, well, how far is it? And then you've got to figure out like where, you know, the, the gas station is before, so you don't run out of gas on the way. So, now, the, th the difference is that the choice between, you know, point B, point C, and point D is a sort of qualitatively different class of problem than, the, uh, than just, you know, how do you get to A from A to B with, you know, before you, in, in such a way that you don't run out of gas. And since these are different places that you know the outcome is going to be qualitatively different maybe this is the beach and this is the mountain and this is you know the national park or the forest or something like that and it's going to, you're going on vacation and it depends uh you know the outcome is going to depend on what you what you decide in there and that i argue was a design problem and so you can sort of think about you know, the a chart where you've got, you know, time on one axis and you've got completion 
on the other axis. We'll just use a percent for complete. And, you know, you want to just get something done and you have all the resources, you know all the methodology, you have every, under, you know, you know exactly how you're going to do it. Then you can just sort of plot this linear line of just going and getting it done. It's like you put one foot in front of the other, you know, you drive down the road, whatever. Uh, you know, that, that is a sort, of, sort of like, that is the base case of just, just doing stuff. Now you can imagine the engineering scenario where you spend some time here and then you meet or you could even cross it because you have gone and figured something out and, and you're, you're getting there faster, for instance. And then you can imagine that there's like the design scenario would be like you're doing, you know, you're doing less progress even for longer. Then you have this engineering phase and then you have this like almost vertical situation. And so if we were to color code this stuff, let's just say that like the, you know, the linear case is green. It's green here. Green here. And you've got the engineering, we'll put red. Because why not? In there. And then the design one, blue. And so, what I'm kind of imagining is that when you, the spending time getting from A to B. You know, you just do it. You don't need any kind of improvement in methodology. You don't need any kind of improvement in, in uh, capability. But what if you don't? What if you can't do it without that? You, you need an extra layer of, of, of capability development that happens in the red zone there. And then uh, you might have a situation where you have a, you know, you've got to design something first before you can engineer, before you can go. And these contours are going to be different for all sorts of things, but you can kind of say that like engineering is the first derivative of just getting things done where uh, uh, design is the second derivative. And you could even imagine like a third derivative to this process, which I would just say that that's philosophy. Like you, you know, you say you've decided that going from A, you know, going from A to B, there's no deliberation about why there's no deliberation about how there's no deliberation about the use of resources, et cetera. Follow that by, uh, you know, oh, we've got to actually figure some stuff out. Followed by like, oh, we actually have to figure out the directionality of like, what are, what are we actually trying to achieve? And then you can kind of like even go further than that and say like, well, why is this, you know, even a thing anyway? And so the concern that I have like vis-a-vis -vis engineering uh, and, and engineers, you know, in the sense of civil engineers and you know, electrical engineers, chemical engineers, is they're in the world of, of hard constraints. And in my experience is they treat a constraint as a given, whereas a designer does not. In fact, a designer's job in a lot of cases is to define constraints that the en engineers then assume is a, is a sort of a fact of nature, just like any other fact of nature. And so that's the difference, is this sort of difference in attitude. And so, yeah, you can say that design is the second derivative of just plain doing stuff, while engineering is the first. And philosophy is the third. Anyway, gonna finish my coffee.